Hastu. Hastu, can someone tell me the first, the Kavarga of the Sanskrita Mahaprabhu? Ka Ka Ga 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 There's a way to map those two numbers. So Ka Ka Ga Wait, that's not gonna map. That's not. Why? So like this, Ka is mapped to the number, number one. one. Ka is mapped to the number two. Ga is mapped to the number three. Ga is mapped to the number four. And then Na is five. Okay? Now? And then we have next. What is Chavarga? Someone different. Someone different. Okay, you go. What is Chavarga? No, what? You want to say? Cha 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 cha. Yes, okay, good pronunciation. Oh, that one. So, so then, in, now the next one, ga, ja is assigned to the number six. Cha cha is assigned to the number seven. I get what's going on. Yeah, it keeps continuing. Right? Ja gets assigned to the number eight. Cha to the number nine. Yes. And ya becomes zero. Why? There's a reason why we're mapping these letters to different numbers, we'll show you after. Right yeah. now we'll just tell you which numbers each uh, Aksharam corresponds to. So, yeah, it's five. Good job, kid. Now, okay, okay. So okay. We, have, we have the entire Kavarga, which is one through five. Wait, Kavarga is one through five, then we have Chavarga, six through zero. Where do you guys think the next Kavarga will go? Kavarga. Where do you think it will go? One. One? One, good job. Okay. So who wants to say what the Tavarga is? The Tavarga. Okay, you've already won. You're, you're, you're good at this. You, in the pink. Ta, good job. Good job. Now you want for the Tavarga? Are you for the Tavarga? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. Oh, that's close. But you pretty. Do you know what Mahaprana is? But it's just the ta. The second one has a stress. Has a stress. The dha na. The dha dha dha. Okay. 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 Like this. Now, what's the next one? The power gun. Zain, do you want to answer? Pavarga, like you know how you learn the letters and everything? Pavarga. So um after the dhana dhana what comes? You guys answered already, so maybe maybe later. But yeah. Why? Oh, you want to oh, say? Oh, you want to go ahead. I... You're really pa. fine. Okay, say them all. Say them all. Say pa 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 ma. Mahaprana, just a little more emphasis. Pa pa. Try that. Pa 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 ma. Pa pa. Pa pa. Pa pa. Pa. Add a little h to it. Add a little h. Pa 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 pa. There, that's better. Good. Pa 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 pa. Ma, there you go. Good job. Okay. And then after this, what are the akshram that come? After papa papa ma, anyone can answer. Go ahead. Okay, where do you think yara lava sha will start? Where does it yara lava sha? Where do you think it will start? From six? See, that's where it changes. Are you sure? It starts again from number one. It goes to number one. But yeah. there's a there's a uh, meaning behind. Yeah, you'll, you'll so find that's it. just right. So, Yara, Lava, Sharsha, Saha, those are the next eight, right? Yeah. All of those are mapped to one through eight. There's, yeah, there's eight of these, yeah. You guys make the most confusing match out of it. Not bad, we can make this. Saha, Saha, Saha. Okay, cool. So, okay. now we have all the Akram, uh, Akrami mapped out to a number, right? Now we'll show you why this matters. Okay. So, uh, is anyone here learning Carnatic music or any singing? Any singing? My sister Your sister learns it? Do you is know it? a little bit like Sarigama Pada and Nisa, stuff like that? So, oh. do you know what a ragam is? I know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyone tell me what a ragam is? Can anyone tell me what a ragam is? Yeah. A name? Raga. 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 Raga
Anyone can see. You don't know what a raga is. A raga is. Raga. Has anyone learned Sarli verses? Sari ga ma pa da ji sa sa ni da ma. You learned it? Yeah. So a raga is basically where each swaram is placed because they can be placed at different yes. notes. Yes. So there's many different ragas. They're all given different names. But you guys have heard Sarli verses, right? What raga is the Sarli verses? Ma. Okay, you can learn something new. It's in Maya Malava Gaude Ragam. Maya Malava Gaude. Now you know. Maya Malava Gaude. Let me write this down. Maya Malava. Maya Malava. Maya Malava. I'd rather say the hardest. How would you play that? I think that's the hardest tongue twister. Maya Molly 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 what is the first two uh, letters of this word? Maya, Maya, Ma okay. and Ya. Ma and Ya. What numbers do those have? What numbers do those have? Can you, any, tell me. Uh, Ma, let's, let's do this. Five. Ma. Five. Five and one. Ma has what? Five. Ma has five? Ya is one. Ya is one. So what raga number do you think Maya Malva is? 61. Huh? 51 is six. Okay, 51 is close. 51 is six. close. No, it's you got the right chart. It's 15. 15. Yeah, Good go. job. You switch around the numbers. You switch around the numbers. Good job. So, Maya Malva yeah. Gole is Melakarta. Uh, this is the. Of the ragas that have all the swarams, this is the 15th one. This is why this is so useful, especially for Carnatic music. Because you take any raga. Yeah. You take the name and you'll immediately know what swarams it has. So, maybe let's explain how the number tells you what swarams it has. Yeah. It's yeah. There's like a the, the math is a bit. The math is a bit. The math is a bit. We have to like we, we divide can, by four. We can try to just explain how the dividing works. Are you talking to us or not? We're talking to each other. So does the it's number just... tell you? Oh, this one, this ma is short here. Yeah, yeah, it tells yeah, you. It tells yeah. you what the. So yeah, if you divide, there's like a. Oh, there's I, I some formula. Yeah. yeah. Not a formula. If you okay. divide it by four, Wait, then it has this. Okay. So uh, I'll try to explain this simply. Uh, so in all the ragas, Mera Karta Ragas, you know Sarigama? No, this they are not here, huh? Oh. Okay. So you all know Sarigama Pada Nisa, right? All of those swaras. A raga that has all of these swaras is called a Mera Karta Ragas, or Mela Karta Ragas, right? It has all of the swaras. All of them. Some, some ragas can be like Sag, Saga Pada Nisa, that doesn't have all the ragas. This is called a Janya Raga, which means it was taken from a Mela Karta Raga. But yes. the, 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 the So here's an example. Okay. This Maya Malava is like you've heard. Sari Gama Pada. Can you repeat? Can you repeat after me? Sari Gama Pada Nisa. Sani Dava Maga Nisa. Can you say? Sani Dava Maga Nisa. Hey, do you notice it has all the Sapta Swara? Sari Gama Pada Ni. It has all the Sapta Swara. Yeah. Okay. And that's what it is. But if you take a ragam, like, uh, if, if you, Abogi. yeah, abogi, but that's kind of hard to get. If you take a ragam, like, uh, abogi, it's missing swarms, right? How many swarms is it? This is called an audava ragam. Can you, can you repeat that? Audava ragam. Audava ragam. Audava ragam. Quick, 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 quick. Aura Okay. So that is called Janyam. But we are dealing with, these are called Sampurna Ragams. Every Melakarta is a Sampurna Ragam. Okay. Which Sampurna means full. Like it has everything. It has all the swarms. Okay. So we have this, uh, what were we talking about? Here? Okay. Yeah. Now, we're talking, now let's talk about how the number tells you what swarms it has. Oh, so yeah. first, yeah. each swaram has different <laughs> Hana is that it can Keep be going. Okay. We should just do with Ma, okay? Yeah, ma is a really that. simple swarm. Ma is a simple one. Okay? So, so there's a thing called, uh, okay, I'm getting really technical, but there's a thing called Shuddha Madhya Mam and Prati Madhya Mam. Okay, basically, huh? Sure. I, yes. I think so. Yeah, it's fine. Yes. Okay, so in these ragas, there's two different kinds of Ma. 
right? There's two types of ma. Uh, we don't have to get to the names and everything, but there's basically ma uh, one and ma two. Yeah, ma one and ma two. You have this chakra. It has all of the ragas. Okay. Uh, divided into half, right? One half has ma one. The other half has ma two. And determine based on the number, you can determine if the raga has ma one or ma two. If see if this number, let me just write this out. If this manakarta number is let's make it this way. So ma one is actually over here. Ma one's actually over I'm here. Just here. Oh yeah, ma one's over here. Ma two's over here. If this number is less than thirty six, if the number is less than thirty six, this will you have a ma less one. Thirty six. Seventy two divided by two is thirty six. I know, but if it's thirty six itself, it's still ma one. It's 36 itself. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's less than. Less than or equal to 36. Yeah. We'll just put sure. it that way. If it's less, it's than, less than, than or equal to 36, then it has a mile one. So we, we take mile and mile of Agoda, okay? Sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa pa ma ga di sa ma. That is called Shuddha Madhyamam. Repeat that. Shuddha Madhyamam. Shuddha Madhyamam. Madhyamam. But if we take a ragam, like let's take Rasika Priya. Prashna Prashna Hasti Tatra? Prashna Hasti. Huh. Two letters in M2. Two let consecutive M2. In the ragam, he's saying, can there be two M2s? Oh, that is a completely different thing. That's called a prayogam, okay? Where you go like, You can, there's arahans like that, but that's really complex. Right? I, I know someone, I didn't do something like that. Huh? I actually do it. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That's really good. That's good. But for now, we'll stick with this uh, Sampurna ragam because it gets really technical and confusing if we go into that aspect. But... Let's let's showcase some mud. Okay, if we have the ragam rasika priya, can everyone grab me rasika priya? Rasika priya. Rasika priya. Okay. Rasika priya. Yeah, I'll just write it down. So first thing that you guys should do, figure uh, out. You should figure out what number the raga has. What? Number? So now we've showcased it for Maya Madhavan right? Yeah. So this okay. is right. One minute timer, okay? Uh, within one minute, finish this and then recap the katapayadi sankhya. Hmm? Rasika. So what are the two Akshar Akshar that has? So you guys know how to find out. How do we find it out for Maya Malaga Gorda? Same thing you find out for Rasika Priya. Fifteen. Does anyone know the answer? What the number? The num the mana number for Rasika Priya. Okay, but that's R and that's R. Okay. So what is the first? One and what's the R? Two. One tw twenty one. No. So, number is twenty one. So let's circle the, num the numbers that you just. What is ra? What number is ra? What number is ra? Two. Oh, it's two. Twelve. Two. 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 What is sa? What is sa? Twelve. Sa, sa is what? Wait, don't rush. What number? Don't rush. Sa is what? Seven. Seven. Sa is seven. Okay. So that was a sa. That was a sa. That was a sa. I thought that was a law. Okay, it's a, it's a rasika priya. Wow. I said it's a rasika, rasika priya. So 72. 72. 72. Yeah. Good That's job. Great. So 2, yeah. 7. That's you flip it around. Flip it around. 72. Raga number 72. Yeah. This is actually the last Melakata Raga. And what do we know from this? What ma does it have? What ma does it have? M2. M2. Good go. job. It is in this quadrant. It is the last mana that I have known. Is M2 so, higher or lower than... Uh, higher. M2 is higher. So... Sariga ma padani sa sani da ba ma gari sa... Do you see that? Do you see the difference? So like that, we can use this katapayadi sankhya to... Determine... To, yeah. To what determine. Has. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, we, we figured out how to determine which ma a raga has. We can also use this to determine what a raga has. Yes. But for now, ma is enough. We can determine which ma a raga has. Now a quick recap of the... Determine what number. Quick recap of the sankhya itself for getting the classical music part. Only sankhya. Explain it once okay. again. Recap. Okay, let's erase this and see if you guys can remember it, maybe. No, no, no. Just recap what's already written. Oh, that's too easy. It's okay. Do it once. Once, once, once. Man. Okay. So, uh... Yeah. yeah. This whole Sankhya is like 
you guys can see how useful this is, right? If you want to map out your letters and sums for them, and if you want to get a clear picture of this, because this system would not be possible without this kind of yeah. So that's why it's so important. So. Uh, what about the vowels? Are, are oh, every single raga, every this single only works for the you, oh. you will start every raga with consonant. You will ignore this one. Like, look, ra si, ra has an a, yeah. sa has an e. But you're only looking at the dungeon. You're only looking at the dungeon. Yeah. Exactly. So, Katapayadi Sankhya, any other uses it has? Kutrapi Anyatra, that's a prayoga This is an example, but an example, I'm sure that the Akrani can be used to give anything a number. Okay. So, this there is something similar as ASCII coding, similar concept. Computers, in computers, it's used. So, the mapping of a word to a number has multiple purposes. Okay. Bahutra tasya prayoga bhavati. So, this will help you codify. That is what is the Katapayadi Sankhya, the mapping. But the mapping. first two letters. Mapping us to The first two letters? Okay. Wait, can I? Uttamam Karatadanam Bhavatu Khalo. Wait, can I ever be in the middle? Asman Preritavantaha Karatadanam. Karatadanam Kurvantu, Jatiti Jatiti Karatadanam, Karatadanam. Kaksha Samapta, Tisham Kaksha Samapta.